What do you guys think of my outfit? Is this a vibe? You know, honestly, I wore this to a party a few years ago and forgot about it since. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah, I think it's a vibe. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Caleb, and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury fashion, shopping, travel vlogs, daily vlogs, reviews, reveals, unboxings, everything we all love here in the luxury community. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon so that we are notified when I post new content every Wednesdays and Sundays. Now, if you also wanna to look to get connected over on Instagram, you can find me at caleb.snell.designer. Same name over on TikTok. You've already clicked on the video so you know what it's about. Today we're discussing the Rosemont Outlets over by Chicago, Illinois. Interested to learn more? Stay tuned. half an hour outside of the city and they have amazing shops. They have Montclair, Burberry, Prada, Gucci. Yves Saint Laurent is coming here in about a year or so. And uh, of course my absolute favorite, Giorgio Armani. We're gonna get into a reveal here in a minute. But um, it's just a fantastic outlet. And all the premium designers are up on the top floor. And then on the lower floor, they have things like the Nike outlet. Um, I think the Saks Fifth Avenue is on the lower floor as well. Just a fantastic outlet. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, I highly recommend stopping by. So while we were there, I filmed some videos to kind of make a vlog for you guys. So let's check it out. Hey guys, so we finally made it to Rosemont. Um, tons of construction getting here. Seems like it took forever, but we're finally here. We're gonna go inside, do some shopping, and then eventually head downtown. All right. First we're eating though. Yes, I'm starving. All right, well, we'll see you guys in a bit. So we finally ordered lunch and we just got a couple of wraps from Freshy. A lot of the food kiosks here at the mall are out of business, probably because of COVID. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to be out and about. Finally, it's been a long year without any good shopping. So I'm excited to see what we get. So the first store that we stopped at was obviously Gucci, one of my absolute favorites. Now, unfortunately our essay wasn't working that day, so I wasn't able to buy anything. I think when it comes to finding the right essay, it's important to stay loyal and uh, only work with them. Once Once you find the right person, you can kind of shop around a couple times, but once you click with somebody, I highly recommend staying with them. You're gonna get the best service. Needless to say, they weren't working that day, so, um, and they were incredibly understaffed. There was also some sort of celebrity who we didn't recognize, but they had, I think like three or out of the five staff members solely working on them. So it's a little bit hectic in the store. Now they did move across the hallway from the original Gucci outlet to a newer space. Supposedly the storage rooms were larger, but the sales floor, even though it seemed larger, had a lot less product, which was a huge disappointment. They did have a lot of great things from last season though, some deleted items. And of course they had their made for factory outlet bags there, um, but not as many as they used to have. And they also lost the jewelry section, which I'm hugely disappointed about. I love Gucci costume jewelry. So um, hopefully they, they bring that back but um yeah it was just kind of a, a ho-hum experience this time around but next time will be better
after we left Gucci, we went right across the hallway to one of my favorite stores there at the outlets, the Prada outlet. Now, every time we stop in, we always get impeccable service there. They have a beautiful selection of both Prada and Miu Miu items in the handbags. The men's ready to wear is also great. I, I love all the colors and of course the shoes and the belts. I have a lot of their belts. Anyway, so while we were there, I only picked up a couple items. Now, as you saw in my last video with the Saint Laurent Sade clutch, link down below if you haven't watched it yet, my Prada key holder fell apart. So of course I had to buy a new one. Now, this is the one I picked up. And this was actually the very first, I know, strange Prada nylon item that I'd ever considered buying. Typically, I love their Safiano leather or even like that deer pebbled leather that they use often. Um, I've never really been the biggest into the nylon. Anyhow, let's just get into it. So the key holder comes wrapped in a felt like most of their outlet items do and in full price as well. And like I said, it's a, it's a nylon item. So this key holder is just nylon. It's trimmed in the Safiano. This is also the first item I've ever had with the Prada triangle on the front, which I thought was really unique. So I, I knew it would have to come home with me. I think I lined this up with, there's a Safiano one that I, I, I did like, um, but the current one I have is Safiano. So I want something a little different. They also had one of their pebbled leathers. And then when he pulled this out, I oddly enough fell in love with it. For those of you who know me, I don't normally pick the least expensive item in a lineup. It's it's a personality trait at this point. I've been this way since I was a kid, but this one was actually $30 less than the others. The retail amount there at the outlet was only 140. The other ones for the full leather were 170. I also thought, you know, rolling around in a bag that maybe the nylon would hold up better. Also being, you know, sometimes I throw them in my pocket as well. But in here, you just have the six keys uh, rings up here at the top. I still have mine protected with the cardboard. I haven't switched over to it yet, obviously. Prada, made in Italy, stamped down there at the bottom, and it's just a beautiful piece, and I can't wait to start using it. Also, what I like about it, it's a little bit slimmer, um, shorter, I should say, than the Prada 6 key holder that I've been using. So I'm hoping that now that, you know, small bags are kind of here to stay, that this will fit better inside some of my bags, alleviate some of the organization problems I've been having with the new smaller bags. So then we go up to the checkout counter and <laughs> on a whim, so I've been looking for a rainy day bag. If you've seen my collection videos, you know, all of my bags are either leather or they're trimmed in suede or vachetta, none of which you should be getting wet. So I needed a new rainy day bag. Now this one, it is a made for factory piece, but it is what it is. I don't, I don't care. Uh, still great quality, but this piece, so it came unceremoniously wrapped just in this like um, plastic bubble wrap and, but it does have the tag down here at the bottom. So this is called the Necessaire Tessuto in Nero. Of course, it has the little product codes down there at the bottom. Now I know this piece was made for outlet. Um, I think it was constructed in Romania or something like that. But after I got my first nylon piece of the triangle, I thought, well, I need to have a second, obviously. And uh, this one I just thought would be perfect for rainy days. Um, I'll give you a close up here in a second, but you, it's got a zipper pocket on the inside. It fits my phone, a full size wallet, keys, obviously, headphones. Um, I'll be honest, I, I did carry this a couple days this week because it has been raining. The price point for this was only 185. So yes, that's a lot for essentially just a pouch, but it's Prada and it's very stylish. And it also kind of reminds me of the nylon re-editions that are, have been really popular as of late. And I thought it kind of piggybacked off that trend really well. It, it is just a pouch. I think it's technically for toiletries, but I'll use it as a clutch, obviously. Yeah, I'm just Prada nylon. Why did it take me so long to get into this? It's kind of amazing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> anyway, so that was our time at Prada.
Now, after Prada, we stopped into Burberry. I was hoping to find a wallet that would work with my new Burberry Porsome Fox Head Clutch. If you haven't seen that reveal, it's a good one. Link down below. Uh, they didn't really have a whole lot as far as wallets and small leather goods go in store. They did have some ready to wear that, that caught my interest and in for the first time in a while. Absolutely stunning pieces from the runway. Unfortunately, I'm not in my runway body right now. So that's why I've been wearing a lot of Zara and ASOS. Anyway, embarrassing uh, facts to the side. I, we didn't purchase anything at Burberry, but I, I do like a lot of the things that I saw this time around. And that Burberry tote that I'm seeing everywhere, I, I might have to be adding that to my collection soon. I can't stop looking at it. After Burberry, we went to my favorite store, Giorgio. I keep saying that about all the stores. Now, when it comes to menswear, Giorgio Armani is my favorite designer, and I have a lot of his runway pieces from past seasons. Now, this time around, our visit to the outlet did not disappoint. There are two Giorgio Armani outlets there in the Chicagoland region. They have the one at Rosemont, and then the one out a little bit, I think in Aurora, carries a little bit more of the more unique and avant-garde pieces. Uh, there, they know that they can bring out the more strange items from the back that I'll try on and eventually purchase, just because I'm not afraid to wear more over-the-top outlandish things from time to time. Um, so I do have that bit of a reputation at the George Armani outlets. Now, this time around, I didn't buy as much as I normally do. I, I am trying to lose weight, so I didn't want to buy a whole lot of expensive clothing with the risk of it not fitting right once I get back to my normal normal size. However, this time around, I picked up this beautiful shirt. I absolutely love the Guru collars from Giorgio Armani, just these simple, clean, streamlined collars. Now, this shirt was from the Autumn Winter 2019 collection. The way that it's shown here with the Guru collar, it did not make it down the runway, unfortunately. I know bummer. But there was a traditional spread collar, I think, in the same fabric that did. Now, this particular shirt originally retailed for $875 uh, when it was at full price. I think I picked it up for only $161. So that's kind of an amazing deal if you ask me for an Armani shirt. So when we were at Armani, I actually saw this shirt and another shirt back on the 80% off rack. They were both from the same season. The other one had a slightly different, more diamond style pattern as opposed to this more tribal chevron. And I thought I'd like the other one more. Well, I like the other one more on the rack, but when I put it on, I didn't like it as much. Now, this shirt didn't like it as much on the rack, but once I put it on, it looked amazing. Of course, I bought this one. Now, I'm thinking the way I'm going to style this is going to be with a pair of linen pants, and I have some espadrilles from Hermenegildo Zinnia in a nice shade of blue that I think would look really nice with this in a pair of linen pants. This will be great for, like, travel, cool summer days. I, I'm just so excited to start wearing this piece. Now, the second piece that I picked up at Giorgio Armani was this gorgeous oversized sweater. So at the outlet, they weren't gonna let me leave without it. He was singing its praises. He's like, you know what, Caleb? I know your style. I know what you like to wear. You have to go home with this sweater. Um, it's the best piece in the house. It has to be, so I'm like, okay, fine. Put it in the bag. Now this one, Unfortunately, the tag is gone and I wasn't able to tell which collection this was from on the Vogue.com app. So if anyone has any idea when this um, kind of button up collar sweater was released, let me know. But it's so soft, it's so oversized. I just pictured myself by the fire at like a ski resort, just strolling around Europe and in the fall, this is gonna come in perfect for all those kind of events. And of course it came with a little pouch with extra buttons inside. A little bit of detail. So this shirt retailed for $11.95, sweater, excuse me, retailed for $11.95 originally. I was able to get it after the discount for only $2.15. Not bad. So in both of these items, I left Armani with only spending $414 on these two shirts, or sweater and a shirt, I should say. So I thought that was a very successful trip. Hey everyone, so we just left the outlet and I got quite a bit of good stuff. Um, I went in not with the mindset of buying a whole lot, um, but I, I, I got a few things. I definitely wanted to get a key holder, which I got. Right now we're stuck in traffic. We haven't checked into the hotel yet, but we're gonna be there probably in about 20, 30 minutes. And I see some room service in my future. I am exhausted. All right, so once we get in, get settled in, I will give you guys a review. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm trying to do a lot more kind of shop with me vlogs. I have a few more luxury shopping vlogs planned here in the very near future. So keep your eye out for those to come out. Again, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below, bell icon. Follow me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, same name on TikTok. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying my time here on YouTube and all of your support is only helping me grow and connect to more people. So thank you guys. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.